it's one week before the release of uh, Signs of Wings, our first album. And uh, I thought we make a little countdown with like one video every day until the release. Three days to go. I would suggest not joining a group that plays over three hours. That's much easier. <laughs> First of all, I mean, of course, you have to listen to the old stuff again. And I mean, I, I would say I start around like two months before, slightly start playing some songs again, uh, maybe learning some of the new stuff. It's a little bit hard because we play like a little bit over three hours. And if you can, as you can imagine, if you want to learn a program that is, or a set like that is over uh, three hours, it means if you just want to play it one time, you need three hours. <laughs> but actually you need more because you stop and uh, review a part again or something like this. So it, it takes actually forever to, to, to check one show. You cannot really do this much more than one time a day. If you want to really play it a couple of times, you need some preparation time. And also to learn it. I mean, you don't play it with a score or something like this, of course. I don't know if there's anybody else that writes stuff down. I don't actually. <laughs> I don't think so. It's rock music. So you have to have it in your head. That means you have to play it a couple of times. So I, I play a couple of songs. Basically, I go for the new songs first, um, learn them or like relearn them because I usually forgot them already from the recording. And also I have to arrange it a little bit different in a, in a different way for life because uh, you cannot play really everything that is on the album. So you, you choose the most important parts and see if some stuff can be taken over by the keyboards, like harmonies and stuff like this, uh, who plays what, uh, who plays what melody, what solo and stuff like this. This has to be decided. And then uh, maybe you make some sounds and stuff like this. And then you just start playing. And like I said, maybe one, uh, better two months before. Usually after one or one and a half months, you have the whole set in your head, if everything's good. Usually I do it besides doing something else, so I would not sit there like eight or 10 hours a day in rehearsing. That's just a little bit too much, so I'll do like a half, a half a day. Maybe some days I don't work on it, so just slightly getting into it. And then we uh, usually do a, a band rehearsal, and when we meet for the band rehearsal, everybody's already able to play the songs. Then we basically just try to play it with the band and make some fine tuning, make, make some adjustments uh, in the way we play the songs live because you might have a, a fade out on the album or something like this. So you make another ending and you have to make some transitions to other songs and uh, you, you might change, for example, the sequence of two songs that were... That's what we did. Uh, on, on this tour, we, we changed the sequence of the two songs that uh, Jeff sang. Uh, they were switched around. Actually, uh, Invincible was the intro and now it's the uh, after the song. And uh, yeah, so we just try to find ways to make this uh, in a cool way and try to play it a couple of times in the rehearsal uh, until the instrumental stuff is really set. Uh, I mean, it's just the band playing, the, the mu musicians, not that singers are new, no musicians, but <laughs> <laughs> the instrumentalists, after let's say eight days or something like this, uh, we get the backing vocals in and uh, work on the choirs. And then uh, we will go to a bigger place on stage, uh, on a basically a stage setup where everything is there. We have the in-ear systems, we have the, all the monitor systems like we have it live. Uh, we have the video stuff running. We have the stage there, so the, the actual stage that we take on tour. And uh, so we can rehearse the show and the lead vocals in a way. So this is the first time everybody meets. And we last time we actually really had like three or four days, but basically we were just basically talking all the time and just don't, didn't play so much. <laughs> but it, it was a cool, cool thing. And I hope we can do it next time again, just a little bit longer. Because usually we just made one day and that was really stressful. So we just had like one or two playthroughs through the whole show with everybody really. And um, this time we had a little bit more and I hope next time even a little bit more. We even filmed it so we could just see how it looks like and how it feels, how it sounds. This is well, how we prepare for a tour and a, a lot of workout and stuff, of course. Some do, <laughs> I don't. Uh, yeah. 
harder to learn solos than riffs. Depends. I also don't play uh, all the solos from the album. Half of the stuff I do live is improvised. Of course, over the tour, uh, you play the song, I don't know, 40 times, 50 times. And sometimes you start playing something similar and to develop to something that is more or less fixed in the end. I would say half of it is uh, improvised or maybe a little bit less. Some stuff is hard, some stuff is easy. It really depends on the part. I have some songs that I always have to relearn in a way. It's like I played them a thousand times and I think about it again after like one year of break or something like it and it's like, fucking hell, how does it work? I forgot it, so I have to check it again. But some I just constantly forget. <laughs> I don't know what the difference is actually, it's just the, maybe it's, a, it's the way some songs are made or uh, structured because I found out that most of us have the same problems with the same songs actually. But they are not hard to play, it's just hard to, harder to remember somehow sometimes. Maybe it's the structure. For example, we didn't play it on this uh, tour, but a song like Wicked Symphony for example, I always like, what, how was that song? I always have to review the guitar parts. I know that everybody basically had, a, had it with this song as well. It's also down tuning and uh, it's just a weird way of playing some stuff. It's not specifically hard or something, it's just weird. <laughs> and uh, that was one of the songs, for example. Of course, also a song like Let the Storm Descend Upon You, but also because it's very long, it's just a 12 minute song or something like it. I think it's 12 minutes. And uh, yeah, this is sometimes hard. Not talking about the very old songs. <laughs> the Tower, for example, which is really not hard to play, but if you ask me now, well, I would have to really check it again. I have the feeling like after two hours, it really gets harder. I mean, the, to learn the first one and a half hours or something is not a big deal. Kind of easy to repeat it and stuff, you know, but if it's getting over two hours, it's, it's, it's complicated in a way. The most important thing is that you have time. You cannot do this I mean, you can, but it's very stressful a week before or something. So it's really good if you start early enough, if possible, three months before, and then you really rehearse song by song and then you put the songs together and try to play them through. Also very important, don't play just little parts, play them through from the beginning to the end, because you will be surprised what what's, uh, little things can be obstacles <laughs> in a way. Uh, suddenly. Uh, it can just be switching the sound or whatsoever. It's like, oh shit, and it, just, it actually doesn't work that way, so you have to find another way of doing it. Just take your time and try to play the songs through. Also the whole show in one go. No coffee in between or whatsoever. No lunch break. Just play it in one go and then you have the best feeling for the show. Thanks again for always keep on asking me these questions. It's really interesting also for me to know what you are thinking about. Keep on doing it and I will keep on answering it because it's real fun. <laughs>